It hasn't been visible in our skies for 80,000 years, but this week is your best chance to see an ancient comet that's visiting from deep outer space. Zane Small explains how you can catch a glimpse. A primordial visitor to our solar system. Filmed by the International Space Station as it orbited above New Zealand, Comet C2023A3 may be millions of kilometres away, but this week it's expected to be visible even to the naked eye in our evening sky. So why it is, is at the moment it's close to both the sun and the earth, and so it has to be close to the sun to be lit up, and it has to be close to the earth for us to see it. The comet's in the point where the, the sunlight is doing what is called the forward scattering of light and has made the comet really quite bright. It's already been observed around the world, from Mexico to Australia and the United States. That is a naked eye comet from our backyard. Fittingly, it even made an appearance in this photo of SpaceX's rocket launch facility. The best way to see it is um, in the first hour after the sunset. Anywhere in, in New Zealand where there's a clear western horizon, and of course it's always good to get away from that dreaded thing called light pollution. The comet was only discovered last year after it entered our system of planets for the first time in documented human history. Scientists believe it hails from what's called the Oort cloud, a giant spherical shell that surrounds our solar system, made up of pieces of ice and rock the size of mountains. After zooming past the Earth, the comet will then speed off in the opposite direction. It's a, almost a slingshot orbit that takes a, whips it around the sun and then sends it back out um, far, far from, the, from any of the planets we can see. It's the chance to observe an object that's likely existed since the birth of our solar system, before it departs, possibly never to be seen again.